up here at the Mecca. It's like a big playground for us bodybuilders. More equipment than you could ever ask for. 20 machines for every body part. It's a beautiful thing. Let's go. All right, Generation Iron fans, this is Fred Biggie Smalls. Today we're gonna to hit chest. We're gonna start out with a compound movement, incline bench press, move over to our isolation portion, which is gonna be incline flies and flat dumbbell flies. So I'm gonna finish up this chest workout with some bench press because no big boy is complete without doing some bench pressing. This is Biggie's way, let's check it out. All right, so we just got done doing some incline press, and I like this movement simply because it overloads the muscle. Uh, because of the compound movement, you can use more weight, placing greater demand on it to stimulate growth. So we like to do this exercise first, work the upper chest. That's typically where bodybuilders lack. You know, when you're doing a side chest pose, obviously your chest is gonna be uh, full blown, but when we do like a overhead, um, abdominal pose or a front door bicep a lot of times if your chest is not full through the upper pecs it gets lost so that's why I like to do the incline bench press first versus doing a traditional flat bench press first um, but some quick tips to keep you from getting injured retract the shoulder blades as you'll see when I'm doing the exercise I squeeze the shoulder blades behind me um, place your hand a little further than shoulder width but not too wide uh, allowing yourself to get a full stretch into the uh, pec and a full contraction when you come up. And then last is make sure that you control the movement. Really pay attention to the eccentric portion of the repetition. A lot of this tempo is really fast. Um, if you slow it down, try and really control the stretch portion of the uh, movement, you'll get a lot more out of, out of every movement you do. doing some incline flies there um, as you notice I do my hand position a little differently than what you see most uh, bodybuilders do or athletes do and the reason why is because by keeping my hand in a pronated position the entire time I'm able to allow a greater stretch to the uh, pectoral muscle I can let it go further and not put as much stress on my shoulder you can't use quite as much weight but you feel the contraction and the stretch portion uh, so much more and with incline flies, they'll typically keep it between 10 and 12 reps, uh, sometimes as high as 15. Uh, temp, and I like to do about a four second um, negative, anywhere from three to four seconds on the negative portion. And then when I come up, what you'll notice is that I'll push my thumbs up and, add a, and further enhance the contraction of the muscle. So that's incline flies, that's the way Biggie does it. Give it a shot, I think you'll love it. So, if you're doing this workout right now and you're feeling your chest pump, it's fired up, the burn you will get by concentrating on the eccentric portion of this movement 
where the stretch portion of this movement is awesome. Um, you really know you're working your chest. You're not working your triceps, you're not working your shoulders. It's all pecs at this point because we've done two fly motions. And just remember, three to five seconds when the eccentric, bring it up, push your thumbs up on the contraction. And by laying flat on your back and taking uh, the stretch to the furthest portion possible, you get the most out of these exercises. So give it a shot. As you see, we just completed our chest workout, finished up with some uh, bench pressing. As you can see, when I started out, you track the shoulder blades, gotta protect the shoulders, which elevates the sternum, allows for a greater stretch at the bottom portion of the motion when you're doing bench pressing. Kept the elbows underneath the shoulders again, keep the stress off the shoulders, and put more stress on the pec. Control, control, control. I'm not just going up and down, I'm controlling the eccentric motion, the stretch portion of the movement, and taking my time to control through the contraction. So, those are some great tips. Follow them, follow the chest workout, see yourself grow. This is Biggie, talk to you soon, peace.